everyone. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing great. So um, today we're going to continue with some of the information that we had from the previous reading. Uh, the topic of today is based of, uh, on a news article. Um, refugees find new lives. So before we start and we get into this, um, I want you to know what is a news article. Practically, whenever you're reading a news article is because um, they are answer answering some of the main questions that probably people might have based on who, what, when, where, why, and how. Based on this, on a specific topic. So, for example, the news article always is going to have information that contains real facts. So that means that are based on something that actually happened because it's based on real facts, okay? Remember that in this one, the writer never includes um, people's opinion. The writer is practically going right to uh, facts, okay? Now, what are you going to do? Practically in the manual, it says that you have to read page 244 to, to page 246. That um, this is based on the article that you um, are going to find in there. So let's see. What do you have to do with this? You're going to read these pages and you're going to start working on the reading process. Do you remember about the reading process? I think you do. Uh, remember, you're going to work only with the first four steps of reading process. What is the first one? Plan. Do you remember what do you do when you plan? Um, you make a preview, you, you start looking for the words that you don't understand, and you highlight them, right? Uh, monitor. Monitor means that you're going to reread the article if you didn't understand at first, and you want you have to read it as many times as you can. Remember that we have done that in class, and practically we're going to apply this in here. Um, now that you already know the words, the meaning of the words that you didn't know because you search of uh, the meaning of it in the dictionary, right? I hope you're do using your dictionary. I hope so. Um, otherwise, I know you're using your phones. Okay, so however, in this one, uh, you're going to read, um, you're going to reread the information after you search for the words that you didn't know. And then you're going to visualize. Do you remember what you do and visualize? You have to make a draw on what were you imagine when you were reading this article. And the last step that you're going to include in this is determine importance. So you're going to determine the importance of the article in your, in your, in your reading process, okay? Once you have finished doing that, I know that you already know uh, what is the article about. Either ways, I'm not going to tell you. Not a little because I want you to read. Uh, you're, you're going to work on the exercise from page number 247. So you are not going to do the first part because practically in the previous exercise, when you did your comparison chart, um, you were applying this. So it's not necessary you to use it in here. However, you're going to do the second, the second, the third, and then you're going to jump on vocabulary review. So make, compa make a comparison by answering the questions. So in this one, it says, how do Rofino's views about education in refugees find new lives and Garang's views in Brothers in Hope? 
compare. So you're going to compare both reading the Brothers in, uh, Brother, Brothers in Hope um, story with Refugees Find New Lives. Then you're going to make your conclusion. Please, it doesn't mean that you're just going to answer these questions like, yeah, um, because they were happy, because they find a new lives. No, I want you to look for a real good answer to each of the questions that you have in there. After, you're going to move to the number three. What are you going to do in that? You are going to answer the questions, but you have to use the details from the text to support your answer. So, you are going to look for more than what you have in there. And finally, we have in here the, um, this vocabulary review. You already know what are the meanings of the words. You are going to use the words that you have in your book on the right. And you are going to complete the vocabulary review. Okay, so in this one, um, you're working with word parts. Um, I think that you already know what is a root. Um, remember that a root is going to be a part of a word that actually needs to have a prefix and or a suffix added to it. So what is the meaning of root? Root means life. So for example, we have in here um, two words that are separated. We have anim, that is the word, and the root, that is all. And when we put it together, we have animal. Then we have anim, that is the word, and eight, that is the root, animate. Remember that these are prefixes or suffixes that are together with next to a root. So in this one in the book, you're going to have this list of words. Uh, I'm sorry, of roots. We have sept, that means to take, hold, gasp. Sieve, that means citizen. Koch, that means to know. Famil, that, no, that means uh, family. Thin, that means to end. Fridge, that means to cool. Pair, that means arrange, prepare, get ready, set. Port, that means to carry. Simil, that means together, likeness. And viv, that means life. So this is practically what you have in your book. These are the roots, and you need to complete the exercises that you have in there. Just take a, let's take a look at this. So practically in here, what you need to do is you have eight words in here in the book and you have to identify, underline, highlight the best way you think uh, is better for you, each of the words and figure it out the meaning of the word. That means that you have to identify what is the root, what is the meaning, and uh, and then the real meaning of the uh, of the whole word, like divided, as you have done in the previous exercises that we have uh, we have worked in class. Um, then next to it, you had to write the meaning of the word. Okay. Then we have this role play conversation. Practically in this, um, you're not going to be working with a pair. You're not going to be working with someone else. So you're going to do it individually. You have in there two questions. I'm sorry. You have in there um, one question. Please think about how Garang must feel when he first arrived in the United States. What questions might he have? That is the only thing you have to do in there. Answer the main question that is in there. And it says with a partner, but remember you're working it by yourself. And by closing this, I just want to, I just want you to read Psalms 16 11. Um, the will shew me the path of life in the presence is fullness of joy. 
at the right hand that are pleasures forevermore. With these guys, remember that you are never alone. God is always with you. And you have to keep in mind that anytime you are working next to him, he's always going to have something for you, something that is going to help you to complete what you have in your, what what you have in mind, like your goals, um, like the, the your wishes and everything you want to work. Remember that if you do it next to him, you're going to have more that what can you imagine. And for last, don't forget to send your work. It's very important you to send your work because otherwise uh, we don't know if you are uh, if you are giving the giving the follow up, the follow up to your work. And also, if you have any questions, please send me a message. I'm gonna be there for you to help you with any of the questions that you might have. Have a great day, guys. Big hugs and kisses for all of you guys. And I hope you're doing well. Great. Bye, guys.